today's little project I actually started this the other night but uh these were my through hole exhaust tips and I never liked them they're ugly as sin the flaps are broken this flap just came off so uh, like if you're going and you came to a sudden stop there's nothing stopping the water from getting up into your cylinder head so uh, I bought these off of uh, eBay some time ago but they didn't have flaps either so I went on uh, Hardened Marine and I got that little thing I had to tack weld it in place so this is a rubber you know and these are replaceable there's two screws you just uh, well, I don't have the light, but um, get down in there with a, I use an Allen wrench on like a socket and then you can, you know, so if they go bad, you can replace them from outside the boat without having to take anything apart. And uh, these are just, uh, I don't know, horrible. <laughs> but anyway, that's kind of what I'm working on today. I went and bought all new stainless steel hardware to do this. I got the sealant. I had to go to like seven different stores. I had another task I was going to do today, but uh, I'll show you what was going on with the drain plug. I was trying to make a little easy drain thing. I'll get in the, the bilge area and show you what I'm trying to do with that. So this is the back of the transom. Um, since it already had through hole exhaust, everything's been cut. I'm using the same holes. You can see up in there, that's the pipe coming from inside. Um, I just have to scrape the stuff off, which is uh, what this little guy is for. I'm going to sit here and do this for a while. I'm not going to bore you to death with that. Let's go inside and show you what i got to do in there. Alright, so here's a good shot of the whole wet exhaust system. The exhaust manifold itself. It's got um, engine coolant that goes through and cools the exhaust coming out. And then seawater goes through a pump and goes, you know, through to cool the exhaust out. Um, I have a uh, chiller on the other side. So it uses seawater to cool the engine coolant. So uh, antifreeze goes through the engine instead of seawater. Anyway, the part of the exhaust I'm working on, this is a coupling here. Um, this will connect down here. So I just got to slide this forward, but I got to clean these up. I guess the carpet on this boat came through. You can see they just kind of cut it and just peeled it all off and it looks god awful. This is one of the fuel tanks. There's another one on the other side. But uh, it's another one of my tasks is to clean this up a little bit, make it a little more presentable. And the, the wiring back here. Oh my goodness. That's uh, some of the things I'm going to straighten up. But first I'm going to start with the exhaust. Get that flap back in there. Get a little more appealing flap. Or uh, exhaust tip. And oh, the uh, let me crawl down here. I'll show you what I'm doing with the drain plug. Okay, I forgot I got a brand new uh, overflow tank. The old one, same exact one, but it was all cracked, wasn't holding fluid, and they plumbed it wrong. You're supposed to go into the bottom one, so when it overflows, it's, it fills it up. Then if it needs to suck it in, it'll bring it back in. Somebody plumbed the other one to the top and then blocked the bottom off, so it could spit it out, but it couldn't suck it back in. Kind of weird. I don't know why they did that. That's the project for later on. So it's getting dark down here, but uh, it's the bilge of the uh, boat. The pump is the white thing, the bilge pump, sucks the water out. The drain plug is down in there. There's like no way to change the oil in this using the drain plug. You'd have to suck it out. I don't really like doing that. I'm going to get one of those uh, easy, uh, you know, 45 degree turn ball valve style. And then I'm just going to put a tube on it. Something like this. That goes down to the, uh, the drain of the boat. So I can flip the thing on. Or hook the hose up, put it through there into an oil pan, flip the thing on, and then drain the oil right out of the back of the boat. I don't have to uh, worry about making a mess. The oil filter's down here too. So what I want to do is get a oil filter relocation kit. And then put the filter like up here so it's easy to get at. Alright, let me get to work.
all right I got both of those holes clean I'm ready to put these exhaust tips in but uh, I was doing a little bit of research here I was at the marine shop and they sold me this stuff I didn't know what it was I figured okay you know I was looking at what it seals it doesn't say anything about stainless steel but I took it walked out the door and now here I am reading what it is and trying to figure it out this is a uh, polyurethane this is the same, like, the tube even looks the same for, like, the, um, we call windshield weld in the automotive field. The stuff you glue, you know, windshields in with cars, and it's very hard to get out. Uh, you saw what I just did to take this stuff out. It was more like this type of a product that you'd use around the house. Uh, that same rubbery, you know, silicone type feel. Um, I want to take these tips out in the future. I don't, that stuff, uh this we'll put it in like <laughs> make it really hard to come back out um, you'd almost have to cut them out and I don't want to do that so I'm not going to use this instead I'm going to use this this will come out relatively easy it's a little stiffer than the other stuff but uh, for what I'm going to do and like I said I'm going to take these tips out uh, sometime in the near future to fix the gel coating on this on the back of this transom is just bad I'm gonna repair all that so right now I'm gonna put the tips in <laughs> 